KHQA this morning. It's your news now. 514 on a Friday. Kristen Aguirre is live in Quincy this morning. Let's check in to see what you're doing. Well, I am here at Joanne Fabrics, and if you're looking for some last minute stop, stocking stuffers, we have some ideas for you. They're inexpensive, and you can do it yourself. So coming up later in the show, Chris Taylor is going to show us some ways that you can fill those stockings with some homemade items. Great. Sounds good. Thanks, Kristen. Well, Here's the last Friday before Christmas, which means you're probably planning on what you still have to get and uh, some stocking stuffers for the kids. Kristen Aguirre has some easy tips for you this morning. She joins us now live. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Yep, if you are looking for some last minute stocking stuffers, instead of going out and buying something, why don't you go ahead and learn how to make something by yourself? It's winter outside, but it is spring inside here at Joanne Fabrics. And why do you think it's such a better way to kind of create projects yourself to give out to people? There, there's a couple of different reasons. The first one is, do you really want to fight those stores looking for that one item that you have to find? And do you want to save a little bit of money? It's always less expensive to do something yourself. And here we have quite a variety of items to choose from to be able to put things together that come from the heart and show that you really put some thought and some time. And those, I feel, are the best Christmas presents, the ones you get that were handmade. One year, my sister actually made me um, a picture frame, and it was, you know, it was huge, and she had, like, she collaged it, and she decoupaged it, and I, like, cried because it was, I mean, I still have that up, you know, mm -hmm. and opposed to going out and getting, like, a sweater that, you know, you use for a few seasons. And so you guys have a ton of stuff here that'll, that'll help you kind of get some ideas. We, we do. We have um, some very knowledgeable team members that... Um, kind of have their own little hobbies like crafting or decorating their homes, um, sewing, quilting, and we're pretty good resources. You know, people love to come in and talk to us and kind of quiz us on what do I need for this type of project or help. I have, a, a, you know, something going on this weekend like Christmas, shopping for the, the holiday coming up. Um, how can I make something quick? And a lot of the projects that we like to recommend, especially some of the ones we're talking about today, um, are ones where one member of the family can do one part of it and you can come back and do the other. So it doesn't just come from one person, it's, it's great you know, get from everyone. So you can definitely come in and stop in here at Joan Fabrics and get some tips on, and ideas on how you can make your own stuff, uh, stocking stuffer. But later in the show, we are going to actually give you some ideas and get our hands dirty and create something. And I might even make something for you, Lindsay. Oh, you are so sweet. Hey, I noticed that we're matching today. <laughs> oh, yes, we're wearing green. <laughs> yes. And I even got a green apron, and I even got a name tag. Oh, look at that. I officially work for Joanne Fabrics. And your name's spelled right, which is the, the important thing on there. Yes, with an E. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen. Great we'll tips for you to help you stuff those stockings this holiday season. Hey, Kristen. Hi, good morning. Yes, if you're looking some, for some last minute tips or ideas to get those stocking stuffers filled, we have them here for you. And you can personalize it and do it all on your own. So what is the first thing that we're making here? The first thing that we're making is a very popular gift. Almost every other customer that I've seen over the last two weeks comes in to select fleece. And for those of you who don't know what fleece is, if you look on the inside of most winter coats, you'll find fleece. It's great because you don't have to sew the edges, so nothing's going to fray when you wash it. So this is a no-sew project. It's a no-sew project. They call them no-sew fleece blankets. And now we have a variety, as you can tell behind us, we have a variety of different types of fleece offered here. And then we've got what I kind of like as the fleece for dummies. It's a no-thought um, selection of fleece because it comes pre-packaged ready to go. So you don't have to worry about matching up the colors. Ooh. You just come in and grab. You can give it as a gift unmade, which is great for kids. It kind of gets them into crafting, and keeps them out of trouble. Um, but then, of course, you can do what I've done here and just kind of select your own fleece and put something yeah, together. You guys definitely have every fabric, including my favorite, cheetah. I love it. <laughs> okay. favorite too. But to start our blanket, basically what you're going to do is decide how big you want to make it. The next step is going to be to trim off all four corners. So you just take off a little square. We had a customer suggest something that was great. Use a CD case. You know, oh. have all those cases lying around as just kind of a take that out of the corner. Next thing you're going to do is grab your ruler and you're just going to slide it down. And you can measure in between, but really, when you see what we're going to do, you don't really need to, um, to measure too much. And Especially you just use this great little thing called a rotary cutter, much easier than scissors, and just press and cut. And then you've got... Oops, I don't think I went hard enough. Oh, no, that's okay. It's no? okay. okay. You'll see when we, when we move on to the next step. So we'll just slice those down um, a couple, and then I can show you what we do next. So after we get this all sliced, what happens? After you get this all sliced, you're just going to go through here. And there are many different ways to finish the edges, but really, all you need to do is do a double knot. Oh, so that's cute. That's like the easiest way. Um, we've made pillows this way. We have do blankets. You can do scarves. Um, 
and this is just one of the options. But what you see here is what a lot of our customers really enjoy, and they do a variety of prints. So, so cute. You can flip the sides here from something nice and striped and more conservative to maybe some cute butterflies. And then it turns out to one of, and it could turn out, this is a different way to do it, but this is yes. the same idea, right? This is the easiest way. This mm -hmm. is the fastest holiday gift you can make on your own, in uh, my opinion. All we've done here, and you can kind of see, I did this without the ruler this morning in like literally three minutes. And you just slice, and then you have a, now, I don't know about me and butterflies, but you guys get the idea. <laughs> it's just so, so easy. So cute. All right, well, coming up later in the show, we are going to go ahead and show you some other last minute stocking stuffers, and I'm going to continue working on my scarf. Awesome. Sounds good, Kristen. Mm -hmm. Green looks good on you. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Live this morning, stocking your stuffers. How's it going, Kristen? Hi, good morning. Yeah, so earlier we showed you how to make a no soap blanket, but now we are making another present. So, what do we have here? Um, here we have a collection of items, and yes, it just looks like a collection of items, but once you put it together, you've got a kind of starter kit for someone who's really um, wants to get into the field of crafting or drawing or painting or whatever it might be. And it's nice because you put it together yourself, so you put thought into each of the items you select. So it's kind of like the idea of building your own gift basket, but you know, it doesn't necessarily have to. So this is basket. definitely really personalized because you're really thinking about what that person likes to do during their spare time or whatever. Mm -hmm. I saw this one, um, one of my cousins, she's, she's about 10, 10, 11. She is totally into beading right now. So this would be perfect for her. Yes, and it's, uh, we've got a selection of starter kits or middle kits where someone might be already into the field and you might just want to get them some new pliers or a new set of beads or a storage container to organize their items. That's what we like about this. So we've got like bead starting. So this is great for a young um, a, a younger person to get started with, you know, a little guide, maybe a storage case. And then we also have like the kind of pre-made kits where you could add some beads to this and you've got instant, you know, satisfaction for your kids or your sister or your brother, whomever it might be, and maybe some time for the parents to relax mm -hmm. after the holidays. Now, is gathering all of this stuff really expensive, though? It doesn't have to be. You know, we, we always um, here in our store have great deals on different items, like our little kids singer sewing machine so is cute. Um, very reasonably priced. You know, that's under 25 right now. And then we've even got what we call dollar deals here in our store. So like all of these little Spider-Man goodies, which would be great for a young kid to get started, you know, if they love to draw, um, or, or just like Spider-Man right. or whatever superhero. Um, each of those items cost a dollar, you know, so, so we it doesn't can, have to be expensive. We can go ahead and put all of these goodies into just one big basket and kind of just give it to them as their present. Yeah, or, or a big stocking. Yeah, there love. you go. <laughs> um, this is more like a thousand presents and, and one present, so I would definitely take this over just the traditional big present. Well, coming up later in the show, we're going to continue on with our do-it-yourself gifts and have some more ideas for you ready to come. All right, sounds good, Kristen. Thank you very much. Got some last minute stocking stuffer ideas for us. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Yes, we do have some last minute stocking stuffers, and these ones are very budget friendly. So, for the person that's going out there and is in a frenzy with all the crazy mall shopping, they can just pop in here and get some of these. That's right. For anyone who's looking to um, kind of fill that last minute gift idea on their list, we have some pretty, pretty nice goodies. We've got a total of eight here, and they're all pretty much around $10 or under. Um, so a great go-to for someone who you know loves to craft, as we talked about last week on the show, um, glue guns. We all love glue guns, and this one comes with uh, a whole array of goodies, so you basically give the gift and it's ready to use. These then, remind me of when I was younger. My grandma's a crafter, and I used to just push the gun and let it all come out. <laughs> she would get so <laughs> mad at me. Well, Whoops. <laughs> good thing they're inexpensive, because you can <laughs> make whatever you'd like out of glue. Um, the next one is going to be Thread Clippers. Ginker is a wonderful brand that we carry here. Um, German-made, fantastic quality, good way to start in the line, um, and they're 50% off right now, which we love. Um, a sock monkey kit, great so for cute. A, a little one to start. This can be a great mom, daughter, or father, son, or however project. A paper crafting set. This is for those who love to make albums mm -hmm. and remember their memories in um, you know something other than a digital format. Um, it comes with all the little goodies you need. A tie dye kit, which was really fun when I was a kid. Um, pretty much comes up with everything except for the t-shirt. Um, my niece, when she gets a little bit older, is going to be getting one of these pre-cut, ready to so go. Cute. Sew your own little teddy bear. Um, a sewing book. So for those young ones out there who are wanting to get into the, you know, arts and crafts, this is a great way to go. And then last but not least, if you don't know what to get, 
go for a gift card because <laughs> they can come in and get whatever it is that they like. And all of these goodies are under $8, right? Under $10. Oh, under $10, yes. under dollars. All right, well, coming up later in the show, we have some last-minute gifts for you in case you want to create that one-of-a-kind that one of a kind personalized item for your loved one. All right, sounds good. Kristen, thank you very much. Kristen Aguirre is live this morning. She's got some holiday stocking stuffers for you. How's it going? Well, if you were banking on the world ending today and you did not get any Christmas presents, oh, we have some tips to help you get that shopping done. And you don't need to go to the stores. You can make it yourself. Yes, you can. And I'll tell you, we have quite a variety of items to choose from when you're trying to be inspired to make those gifts. We have lots of customers come in and they will tell us, I saw this wreath on Pinterest or I saw this ornament on, Chris on Pinterest. What do I need to do it? Um, and right now, thankfully, including our ribbon, which as you can tell, we have tons of, <laughs> um, we have all of our holiday merchandise, for the most part, has gone to 70% off its original price, which is always a beautiful thing. Because if you, you've seen you know, me many, many days on the morning show, and the main thing I go for is I'm cheap, and if I can't <laughs> get it cheap, I'm not going to get it. So, um, of course, I'm a great fit here with Joann's um, for that reason, among others. But I am definitely come visit us for that 70% off because it's a great deal. And we learned so many ideas to get, including this cute little scarf, no so scarf that we were able to make this morning. And we can get a, a, all of our supplies here. But why do you think that personalizing your gift and homemade having a homemade item, getting it as a gift, is so much better than kind of getting that store bought present? Well, sometimes you're in a pinch and you have to go store-bought. Don't get me wrong, I've done it. But if you can make it yourself and put the time into it, it really shows that, that you took the time to select what went into it. You spent the time thinking about the person while you were making it and, and really considered you know, what they were going to get use out of, like a nice little scarf. And every time that person puts that scarf on, they're not going to think, oh, so-and-so picked this up for me at the store. They're going to think, wow, you know, even this was a quick project, they took the time to make it for me. And it's that continual reminder of where it came from. So if you want to make your holiday presents a little bit more personal, make sure you stop here at Joanne Fabrics and get some ideas. And don't feel overwhelmed. The, the employees will be more than welcome to help you out. All right. Thanks, Kristen. Great tips.